Okay, this is the big one. It's for the grand cash prize of about 45 cents or so. Uncle Ren, <laughs> you have 30 seconds to make Mr. Humphrey say this word. <laughs> oh. All right, Dalton, this is something that your daughter does not have. A clue? <laughs> something your daughter doesn't have. Just think about it. Just a life? <laughs> Money of her own? Ambition? Decent friends? A car? She'd like a car, but I'm not going to be buying it for her. Fine, fine. How about some self-esteem? Huh? How about the desire to get off that couch once in a while? How about the prospects for a decent husband instead of that Neanderthal she's been dating? How about just one clue about what to do with the rest of her life? God! How about a job? There you go. so many uses for the common everyday hammer, you pretty much have to list them alphabetically. A for ABBA. <laughs> B for Bee Gees. C for Captain Tennille. Well, I'll tell you, this floating church service got everybody all excited. Stinky Peterson wants to stick a canoe up on his end like that, so we got a steeple thing pointing out of the lake. And uh, Junior Sinkman said if we pour gasoline over the whole thing there, you get kind of the colors like a, like a stained glass lake, really, is what it is. Who's the minister at this wing dang, Harold? Uh, the Reverend Garth. Very, very progressive. The guy with the three ex-wives and the live-in girlfriend? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but he's just keeping up with the times. Yeah. You, you know, he's the fellow, he introduced all the, the new types of music into the hymn oh, sings. Right, right, yeah, right. he did, like, there's folk music he did, and, and heavy metal, and, oh, remember the rap version of Amazing Grace? <laughs> Amazing Grace, how sweet thou art. That's say, 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 the rest like me. <laughs> Yo, mama. You like rap, do you, Harold? Oh, yeah. Stick your knuckles out. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, man, safety first. I'm Buzz Sherwood. And you know, if you go flying your plane, don't go chasing birds, okay? Because, like, you might think it's fun, but it's not. It's dangerous, man. And besides, if you hit one, there's only enough for, like, one serving. <laughs> Well, meanwhile, back at the martial arts demonstration, Bill's going to try a kind of a running attack on the... <laughs> That's a rope there, Bill. Sorry. I'm fine. A little bit of a running attack on the board. And kind of went... Yeah. Did the up and over thing. And the, oh, oh, boy. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. You know, he, uh, well, he split the board. He split the board, and which was real convenient for what we had planned next. Rest uh, in peace, Bill. <laughs> of course, he's fine, you know, Bill. And Oh, okay. We got the karate. Well, you got a karate thing going on here, Harold? Karate. That's... Oh, great. Uh, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, this is, uh, my apologies to sumo wrestlers everywhere. Holy man. Oh, man. With a tractor tire. You know, when I started doing this program, I really, uh, what I really had in mind was kind of a, an outdoorsy kind of a, something you could be proud of, you know, when you do a show and you want to kind of give people a... Um, <laughs> Give people hints and tips on how to do things and how to be maybe smarter with their fellow man and so on and then Whoa. sometimes Whoa. You, oh, oh. you see the results and you just oh, oh. This is not totally what I had in mind when I was <laughs> yeah fine you're not gonna see that on the on the educational channel what, what do you want with those oh 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right well I guess I guess we've seen the last of Bill and. Uh, Okay, Harold, 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 you win. Where you go? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Saved by the bell there, Bill. <laughs> Stay tuned, it doesn't get any better. Ranger Gord gets a bunch of medals. Well, Harold, our church service out on the lake is turning into a great big attraction. Guess who's coming? Who is the one person who has made more North American men turn to religion than anybody else? Lorena Bobbitt? <laughs> Sporting events, you know, the guy that holds up the sign says John 11:13. The sign guy? Yes, sir. The sign guy's yes, coming. Yes. Was he gonna like have a striped wig and everything? Yes, sir. Whoa. Yes, sir. This is gonna be the biggest thing that ever hit Possum Lake. Wait till you see the fireworks. Noah's Ark, all done in pinwheels. <laughs> whoa, 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 Uncle Rad. I think you guys are missing the point here. Religion's not about putting on a show. And that's why they get the lousy turnout, Harold. 
you know, you add a couple of miracles and a little pizzazz to the service there, you can turn a money-losing venture into a big-time cash cow with international franchise potential. Oh. <laughs> Is this you speaking in tongues, Uncle Red? I got religion, Harold. Oh, heaven help us. <laughs> Red Green! <laughs> and Harold! Guess what? I got a big promotion. <laughs> promotion guard? Yes, sir. After 16 years of being a forest ranger grade three, I'm now being promoted to forest ranger grade two. <laughs> well, congratulations to you, Gord. By golly, eh? Thanks very much. You sure paid your dues, young fella. Oh, 16 yeah. 16 <laughs> years up here all alone? Yeah. So where are you going to be working now, do you think? Here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I guess you're getting a big raise in pay, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had a paycheck in over 10 years. But I guess it's more. I mean, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the thing is, I get to decorate my uniform with all my, these service medals. The uh, forestry department must have dropped them off. I found them in a pile over there. Uh, those are beer bottle caps. <laughs> Red. Everybody knows you're not allowed to drink beer in the forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what was I thinking? I don't know. Okay. Now, this one says bud. Yeah. Okay, now that's for buddy of the forest. <laughs> now, this one says 50. That's for 50 years... 50 months of service. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I get four of these. All right. Ooh. Got there. Four. Now, this Four one says, yeah. Yeah. this one says logger. Yeah. That's for my work protecting the forest against loggers. That'll be it. That'll be it. Yeah. yeah. I thought logger was spelled with an O. Doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> great. Doesn't matter. Um, so, can you stick around for the presentation ceremony? Well, we wouldn't miss it for the world, would we, Harold? Okie dokie. <laughs> Ranger! Quick! Mud! Look! <laughs> Ranger Guard, for service above and beyond the call of duty and nature and certainly sanity. Congratulations to you, sir. I deserve a medal for keeping a straight face. <laughs> it's mail call. Oh. Ow. Oh. All right, here's our letter this week, and it's from Larry in Michigan. And Larry writes, Dear Red, does everyone in Canada speak French? Well, uh, yeah, a, li a little, you know, or as the French would say, un poo. <laughs> And we all try to speak a little French like that, you know, uh, try to keep the country together. So far, it's not going all that well, actually. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> we uh, set est un gros dommage un et un mysterio pour moi. <laughs> Nesca Posca. <laughs> We uh, had a little rehearsal for our uh, church service out in the lake and uh, didn't go just exactly as planned, you know. It was a judgment. <laughs> it was an accident, Harold. A lightning bolt on a clear sunny day. I think that is an ominous warning. <laughs> it wasn't a lightning bolt. It was just too many boats tied too close together with too few bilge pumps and too many leaky gas lines. <laughs> but the candles, that was stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. Mind you, we're all all right. We did have a miracle. Nobody was killed. And the explosion parted Possum Lake. Just for a second. I caught a glimpse of your snowmobile. <laughs> Meeting time. Yeah, you go ahead, Harold. I'll be down in a minute. Over there, Harold. 
If my wife is watching, I have uh, gained a new respect for religion. I was hoping you could maybe join me. We'd go to church and renew our vows. And then on the way home, go to the motel, renew our honeymoon, providing I can renew my medical insurance. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks so much for watching. On behalf of myself and the Reverend Harold and the whole gang up here at Post Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Stinky Peterson will be having a family reunion again. Uh, there's been no location decided, but he said, don't worry, you'll know where. <laughs> Just follow your nose. For more information on Red, Green, and Possum Lodge merchandise, call 1-800-Y-Possum or find us on the internet at www.redgreen.com.